Hello, good afternoon friends. Today we are going to study and discuss few important notes of or few, few important points of curve unit. And the first point we are going to study is notations used with simple circular curve. As we have discussed earlier in uh, practical, but uh, here we have to take one revision. So this is the diagram or uh, schematic of simple circular curve and notations we are going to discuss. A, B and B, C are known as the tangents of the curve. So this is A, B and this is B, C. Okay. B point is known as a point of intersection. This is B point. This angle phi is known as angle of deflection. This angle I is known as angle of intersection. Point E can be said as a vertex point or apex point of the curve. Uh, the curve T1, E, T2 is length of curve. The chord T1 D T2 is long chord. This R is uh, for radius. We have three radius in this diagram. T1 is a first tangent point. T2 is a second tangent point. So if phi is the angle of intersection, this then this angle always will be phi by 2, phi by 2. Okay. And these are a few properties of simple circular curve that uh, we have also discussed in practicals. But uh, I'm going to repeat few which are going to be needed for the derivation. So phi and i always have relation of 180. So we can say phi is equals to 180 minus i or we can say i is equals to uh, 180 minus phi. And uh, length of curve formula should be r tan theta by 2. Length of curve formula is pi r phi upon 180. Length of long chord the t1 d t2 is 2 r sine phi by and worst sine of curve is this DE distance which is equals to R 1 minus sec phi by 2. So there are few methods of setting out simple circular curve. One of the uh, one of the important method is horizontal curve setting by chain and tape method. And in chain and tape method first method is the length of long chord or we can say long chord. So we have performed the practical of setting out a simple circular curve by taking offsets from long chord method or generally we can say in short long chord method. So this is the diagram of derivation for length of long chord. So I'm going to perform. Uh, so I'm going to explain how we set out how we can set out the simple circular curve by taking offset from long chord. So T1 D T2 is the long chord, and we have to mark offsets or perpendiculars in this directions. So we can set out the simple circular curve, and these values of offsets can be uh, the values of offset we have to determine. And the formula for determination of the offset is this OX is equals to under root R square minus X square minus R minus O0. And this formula is derived by this derivation. So we are going to see that derivation right now. So all this part is uh, we have already discussed. We, there's no need to discuss it once again. But I'm going to repeat the notations A, B, C, A, B tangent, B, C tangent, T1, T2 are the tangent points, O is a center point, R are the radius. So for derivation purpose, we have made some arrangement. We have considered this P1 point here and P2 point here. And uh, this distance, this vertical distance can be said as OX and the distance DE is made out in it O0. Okay. So this point is P1. This point is P2. So for derivation purpose, we have to consider the triangle OT1D. That triangle is O. T1 and D. So this is a right angle triangle. In this triangle, point O and T1 is hypotenuse, and other two sides are the normal two sides of the triangles. So by applying Pythagoras theorem to that triangle, we can say that O T1 square, hypotenuse square, is equals to O D square plus T1 D square. So this hypotenuse square is equals to T1 D square plus O D square. So as we know, O T1 is radius. T1, D, T2 is long chord that uh, we can say as L. So T1, D becomes L by 2. Look here. So O, T1 is a radius. T1, D is L by 2. And what about O, D? So O, D is this distance. So we can say R minus O0 is equals to O, D. R minus O0 is equals to O, D. We have put that values in this Pythagoras theorem. By rearranging, we have found out the formula for O0 which is equals to R minus under root r square minus l by 2. So this is the formula for O0. 
we can directly find out the O0 by the formula R1 minus cos phi by 2. But uh, this is the long chord derivation, so we have to find the formula by this method. Now we have to find out the other ordinates or other offset. For finding out the other offset, we have to consider the triangle O P1 P2. This triangle O P1 P2. So in this triangle, O P1 is radius. Okay. P1 P2 distance is x and O P2 distance is this one. So again this is right angle triangle. So if you apply the Pythagoras theorem to the triangle, then it becomes O P1 square, which is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse square is equals to this side square plus this side square. So O P1 square is equals to P1 P2. Look, O P1 square is equals to O sorry P1 P2 square plus O P2 square. So we can directly say that. O P1 is radius, so directly we have put it. First we discuss the P1 P2. P1 P2 is x because we have assumed it as a x. Okay. And the very important distance is O P2. O P2 is from this to this point. So O P2 is equals to we can say R. This distance is R. R minus O0 plus O X. We can say R minus O0 plus O X. Okay. So you have put all these terms in the formula. And after rearranging, we have found out that O X is equals to under root R square minus X square minus R minus O zero. So this is a standard formula for finding out the offset. So what is this? What about this X? So X is the offset distance or peg distance. So if you have to find out the more accurate curve, then we have to consider the interval less. So we can say that less the interval of the pegs, more will be the accuracy of the curve and vice versa. Okay. So after this derivation, we will consider this numerical. So this is very basic numerical for setting out a simple circular curve by taking offset from long chord method. So in this numerical, they have given with uh, they have given us with the two tangents, tangent A B and B C. The flexion angle is 30 degree. Chainage at this B point is 150.5 meter. Radius of the curve is 100 meter. Reflection angle 30. So what we have to do, we have to calculate all the necessary data for setting out a simple circular curve. And for finding out data, th uh, these are few standard terms. Uh, uh, initial data is generally common in all type of numerical. So first thing we need to find is tangent length R10 phi by 2. We have radius, we have phi, we can easily find out. Second bit is change of T1. So we have standard formula for it. Change of intersection point minus tangent length. We can get. Uh, next bit is curve length. So cur standard formula for curve length is pi r pi upon 180. We have found out. Uh, next bit is change of T2. Again standard formula. Change of T1 plus curve length can be change of T2. Next is length of long chord which is equals to 2 r sin pi by 2. So we have radius. We have pi. We have easily find out the length of long chord. Uh, for finding out uh, the data for long chord method, we have to find out the half of long chord, which is L by 2. So we have found out the L by 2, bit, uh, which came 25.88. So these two data are specific data for long chord method. So we have to find out the mid ordinate formula for mid ordinate, as which we have seen here, is R minus under root R square minus L by 2 whole square. We have find out the mid ordinate. And in this numerical, they, have, uh, they didn't ask us to assume the peg interval. So we have assumed peg interval as a 5, but we can solve this numerical by assuming this peg interval as a 1, 2 or 3. Uh, as I said earlier, less the interval, more the accuracy of the curve. But for uh, solution purpose, we have considered the peg interval as a 5. So we have to put x is equals to 5. So this formula becomes O5 is equals to under root r square minus x, we have to put it here, uh, 5 x square minus r minus o0 so we have put it r is equals to 100 x is equals to 5 minus sine radius is again 100 and o0 3.41 by calculation we, we have got the value of o5 which is equals to 3.3.28 meter so if you have taken the peg interval 5 we have to find out the next interval which will be definitely 10 so o10 is equals to under root r square minus 10 square minus 96.59 uh, there will be number of interval. I, uh, uh, next offset will be O15, O20, O25. I intentionally found out only two interval.